welcome back to my channel now today for all of you I have the XM black bowl piece to review so let's get right into it now this is my first XM piece and of course I've heard everyone say how great their QC is um, how well their packaging is and I can definitely reaffirm all that um, that was some of the best packaging I've ever seen on any statue um, the paint applications and the look of this statue is fantastic um, it really is a great, great piece, especially if you're a Black Bolt fan. I think, you know, no one has done this statue to this degree. So, um, if you can get it, please do. If you're a Black Bolt fan, you won't be disappointed. This thing is amazing in person. Um, let's get into some of the paint applications. I love the base. Uh, it's like, of course, like the statue rubble look. Um, but the granite and the raw coloring is very, very well done. I think it's some of the best granite look to any statue I've ever seen. Um, the paint applications there are that good. Um, the base is absolutely massive. And I was when I was putting this together, I was worried that the base would dwarf the statue itself, but it doesn't. It all comes together really, really nicely um, and makes just a complete statue and a complete diorama. Now. I am, <laughs> there is the option to put Black Bolt, like you can remove this top section and put Black Bolt standing right there. Um, this statue is super tall as it is already, so doing that, I would just imagine it being crazy, like crazy tall, and I don't think I'd ever do it like that. I like the way this looks. Um, it looks perfect like this. It fits really nicely. It all works together really well. So this is probably the way I'm going to keep it. Um, I won't keep it exactly like this because I wanted to show you guys some of the switch out options. Um, so we'll get into that next. But uh, yeah, this statue right now, as it is, absolutely wonderful. Very happy that I have XM Connects that I can get statues from now because some of these things are on the secondary market are ridiculous and absolutely crazy. And I don't know who would pay some of those prices, but you can see some of the detailing on the back of Black Bolt. Looks very nice. The fins work perfectly. Yeah, guys, just a great statue. Really, really well done piece. So very happy there. And another cool feature, the tuning fork is pure silver, apparently. <laughs> um, so that's kind of cool for XM to do. I haven't really seen uh, a company do that before. And they gave you a certificate of authenticity saying that that is silver. So that's really, really well done. All right, so next we'll do some of the switch out options. And I'll also pose this guy with uh, Captain America. Alright, so here's Black Bolt with the switch out accessories, him holding his staff, and the switch out head sculpt of him yelling. I really, really like this head sculpt. This is definitely like how I'm going to display Black Bolt. Um, I think it looks really, really cool like this. The staff itself is very, very nice. Very nice detailing. It's not silver like his tuning fork. That would just be absolutely ridiculous if that was, uh, if this was silver as well, but very nicely done regardless looks very very cool um together it just it fits perfectly so i absolutely love this statue some of uh xm's best work and i'm excited for future xm pieces like uh namor i'm definitely want that i definitely want uh black panther you know because i'm trying to do the whole illuminati line so and if you guys don't know who, what the Marvel Illuminati is, you guys should check that out because it's a pretty cool story um, of some of Marvel's biggest heroes coming together. So, love this statue. Very happy with it. So the last thing we'll do is um, I'll bust out the Captain America premium format by Sideshow Collectibles, and uh, we'll do a side by side with Black Bolt. All right, so here's Black Bolt and Captain America together, and I have to say they look really, really good like this. 
Um, I'm, it gets me excited to finish the whole Illuminati line. I think that's definitely the line I want to go with instead of the Avengers. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that and pretty excited to see the rest of the pieces. Um, in terms of sizing, you know, people were saying that XM's quarter scale is different from Sideshows and Iron Studios. Uh, to me, as I look at these statues, I don't see any major glaring differences, you know, at least none that would really bother me. Um, of course, everyone's different and we all have our different preferences, but um, I think it looks really good together. I think they're just about the same in size, just on par. I mean, I can see why people might say that um, Black Bolt is a bit smaller, but um, I think combined with the base of Black Bolt and just like the sheer size of it, it kind of offsets that to me, in my opinion. So it makes it seem like these two are just about the same size. But yeah, guys, Black Bolt is awesome. I understand the whole XM hype. I really do. Uh, it's just really cool to get this first XM piece. And I'm really excited to finish the rest of the Illuminati line. I'm really excited to get uh, Namor and Black Panther from XM. So... I can't wait to review and unbox those. But that's the end of my video. Let me know what you guys think of Black Bolt. Let me know if you're getting him. It'd be cool to see what your guys' thoughts are on this whole XM thing. Um, if you guys ever want a cool place to hang out, meet new people, talk about anything and everything pop culture related, check out Statue Collectors United, the Facebook page. The link will be in the description. Um, until my next unboxing and review, I will catch you all later. And remember as always... Happy collecting.